let's take a look at some different ways to play the card uh, variety Solitaire, the game of cards that you play by yourself. Well, the one that, the version that most people call Solitaire most often is actually called Klondike. And if you've ever seen someone sit down and play Solitaire, or you've played yourself, say like uh, on your computer, then this game will look very familiar to you. The way it's dealt is as follows. I have seven piles on the board, also known as the tableau, and the one that's on your left will start with one face-up card, and then once you have the other piles established, you go one face-up card here, and the next several down, up here, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay. This is the playing area for the game Klondike. And uh, the way that it works is you're trying to move cards up to four foundations, each starting with an ace. Here's an ace, move that up. And now I can move the, this is uh, the ace of clubs, so I can move the two of clubs up here. And I can move cards around the board in sequence opposite color. So here's the two of diamonds. I can move it on top of a black three. So this is red, this is black. And now I turn over a red three, and look at that, I have a black two. I can move it over. And a way that you can get more cards to play is you take them from your deck, also known as your stockpile, and you can turn them one, over one at a time or three at a time. And you have um, up to unlimited number of passes through the stockpile. Or you can say, I'm only going to go through three times or I'm only going to go through once. The less times that you give yourself to go through the stockpile, the harder the game is. Ultimately, you want to move all of the cards in sequence up to the four foundations, each starting with an ace. Ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, ace of spades. Once you have all the cards moved up sequentially to the foundations by suit, then you've won the game. So that is Klondike, the version that most people mean when they say, I'm going to play some solitaire. There's another game that will look sort of similar, and it is called golf. I like not so much to play real golf, but I do like to play solitaire golf. And it's because you can play it and it's somewhat hard to win, but you can play it so that you keep a score. You say the uh, r remaining cards on the tableau are my score, they add up to my score. So if you get something that is four or below, then you made par for the whole, if you will. Okay, the way the tableau works is you have seven columns of five cards all face up. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna make sure there are five face up cards in each column or pile on the tableau, which is what we call our playing area in solitaire. And then the way that golf works is I'm going to put the stockpile down here. And first thing we're going to do is look around the board, make sure that everything is straight, make sure I can see all my cards, because you want to plan your moves sequ sequentially. And now you're going to take the, the top card off the stockpile, turn it over. It's a six. You're going to look for either a five or a seven to place on top of it. I don't have a seven, but I do have a five. So I go five. And then I'm looking for a four or a six. No fours. There's a six. There's a seven. 
back to this six. You see how this game works. The only thing that you can't do in the sequences with the game of golf is you can't jump from ace to king or king to ace. You can't go around the bend as it were. But you can move up and down sequentially back and forth. And if you wanted to play what we'll call golf relaxed, then you could also go around the bend. But the game is easy enough without allowing yourself to jump from ace to king. Let's say hypothetically I exhausted the stockpile and I was able to move most of the cards down into the waste pile slash foundation. And this is what was left. Well then, I would have a score of one, two, three, four, five, six cards. If ever you clear the board and you have any cards left in your stockpile, give yourself a hole in one. That's golf. Last game that we will look at is another rather easy version of solitaire. It's called clock. I like clock because it's aesthetically pleasing and it's easy to learn. All we do is we deal out 12 little tableau piles in the face of a clock and then we're going to have one four card stockpile in the middle. This is the way it works. 12 o'clock, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10, 11. Remember, there was 12, noon or midnight. We're gonna put one in the middle because this kind of completes the face of our clock, right? We're gonna go around and keep doing that until we have exhausted the deck of cards. Okay, We've got four cards in the middle and four on each pile on our 12 pile tableau that looks like the shape of a clock, the face of a clock. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one card from the stockpile in the middle. I know my clock looks a little goofy. I'm not so good at symmetry. We're gonna turn it over. The queen equals 12 o'clock. Gonna move her up to here, turn over a card, the three goes to three o'clock over here. Put that there. Turn over a card. It's another three. It goes right back here. There's a nine. Goes over to nine o'clock. You get the idea, right? We're gonna keep going until we hit a king. The jack goes at 11 o'clock. 10 goes at 10 o'clock. Jack again, 11. The deuce is over here at two o'clock. The five, five o'clock, 10, eight. There's a king coming. It's mathematically certain. There's a three. Ace goes to one o'clock. Queen is noon, seven o'clock, five. Jack is 11, nine, four. Wow, we've hit almost every spot on the face. Seven, this is quite the run. Eight, 10. I almost feel like I should have stacked the deck. Ace is one, deuce, five, four, king. When you get a king, you have to place it in the middle, that's the end of the turn, and turn over another card. Once you have hit four kings, the hand is over, and unless you have turned over every face down card on the tableau, then it's not a winning hand. 
But if you have turned them all over before you get to four kings, then you win the game. Congratulations.